Hey guys, I finished a new book and I'm super excited about it because I got my first ARC in the mail. Super duper excited. Um, and it is from Bloomsbury and it is called What Goes Up by Katie Kennedy. And this book is going to be available on July 18th. So super excited because it's my first ARC that I've ever gotten in the mail. Second off, super excited because... It talks about kids going into space and one of them is a girl which obviously girls in space super cool um, okay so obviously kids in space is a theme space is a theme so we're in the future and NASA has decided that they want to recruit kids um, juniors in high school to be the a new team and this team is gonna go because we have dis we've found that the universe is infinite, meaning that the galaxy is tremendous and they want to send people to explore it and not just explore it, but make contact with whatever is out there. So it starts with all these kids going and taking these crazy, crazy tests. Like one of them is put your hand in a box that has a scorpion in it and hold it there for 10 seconds. Um, and the point of that is to see which hand, if you put your dominant or non-dominant hand in. And my favorite character doesn't put either of his own hands. So think of that however you want. And so anyway, a bunch of kids going in and taking tests and only two come out. Well, there's a curve, like not a curve, but a twist kind of um, in the amount of kids who actually make it through their testing for team three, I think they're called. So it's hilarious through the testing because you're going, um, it goes back and forth between the perspectives of Rosa and Eddie. And Rosa is the kind of kid that has kind of had everything, but she has had to work really hard. Um, her parents are like important people in their industry and she is super smart, um, very thoughtful, very witty, very creative. She's kind of everything NASA would want. And she's someone that you would think would get into NASA. Um, and Eddie is sort of homeless. He is also obviously very, very smart, very um, witty, very quick-witted, very just quick. Um, there's one point where they say he thinks with his spine, and that's because he, he thinks faster than the reflexes in his brain can act, which I didn't know. So I learned a lot from this book. Um, that being said, I did not have any problems understanding what was going on because there's a lot of space talk and a lot of like NASA vocabulary that obviously I'm a librarian, I know nothing about, but it wasn't hard to understand what was going on. So that was awesome. Um, the characters are hilarious. I felt like I could be friends with them like right away. Like I found myself laughing every time I opened it up again to read it. And I read it in about five days. Um, not because it was long, just because I didn't have the time that I wanted to commit to the book. So Kids go through testing, they get told who the teams are, and then the team meets aliens. And those aliens want to release a bacteria on our planet that will expedite growth in um, plants and pretty much any kind of vegetation so it can help with feeding people. But people who eat that food get cancer, like, right away. So... It has to be stopped, and I'm not going to tell you how, but it was really, really funny, and it's hilarious, and I could not stop. Like It was not so fast-paced that I couldn't keep up, but enough that I was like, oh my god, I can't, I need to know, I need to know what's going on, because it was just something that I couldn't, literally could not put it down, because I needed to know what was going to happen, and it had such a cute ending, it was perfect. Um... Someone does get hurt, and it's quite epic in the way that he does. So if you like spaceships and space travel and aliens, a little bit of sci-fi, a little bit of completely unrealistic fiction, um, obviously it's YA. If you liked it, I mean, if you like YA in general, but if you like any of the stuff I just said, you're going to love it. So it's really good. I highly, highly recommend it. I give it five stars. Um, there are some points where... You kind of get confused as to who's talking about what, but there's a reason for it. So I really liked it. I hope you do too. I can't wait for July 
to come so that everybody can read it because he was so good. I was already recommending it to my students, so they're excited to read it now that I'm finishing reading it. But yeah, um, I am currently reading Empress of a Thousand Skies. Y'all, Junior Library Guild is my jam. Um, because they send us a monthly shipment of books and literally every shipment has stuff that I like need and won't put out on the shelves yet. Cause I'm like, oh, fine. so this one came in in my last shipment and it's about a girl whose family was killed and they were the rulers of the galaxy and she is supposed to kind of inherit the galaxy and someone tries to kill her and she has to kill them because I don't know. Revenge is a huge theme in it. And I'm learning that I don't think that she's going to be happy with her revenge if it happens. I don't know. I'm not there yet. I'm not really halfway through. Yeah, about halfway through. Um, but yeah, that's my prediction. I don't think she's going to be happy with her revenge if she gets it. But it's a it's another space book. They kind of go hand in hand. They're both in the future, although this one takes place in its own galaxy with kind of its own language and they have different planets. This one deals with Earth and planets that we know about. So very different, but yet similar. So I'm super excited to finish this and then I can't wait to vlog about it because I love it. And look how pretty the cover is. Sorry, it's, I've got that gla glossy thing on it, but isn't it pretty? Yeah, and the back is also really pretty, but yeah. So that's Empress of a Thousand Skies, brought to you by Junior Library Guild, or brought to me by Junior Library Guild. And today's review was on What Goes Up by Katie Kennedy, and I loved it. I loved it. I don't know how many times I can say I loved it, and I hope to pass it on soon. Bye.